So here with us we have MIM MP Imtia Jalil and he, he is leading his rally which he has termed as Tiranga Rally. Imtia, what was the need for you at this juncture to bring out such a rally that you are heading towards Mumbai? Pankaj Bhai, we waited for so many years for the Congress and the NCP to take some decisions regarding the welfare of the Muslim community. It's the same political parties who from 2014 to 2019 were in the opposition in the Maharashtra Assembly. And at that time, they would fight with the BJP Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis and the Shiv Sena, whose government was there, that why are you not giving reservation to the Muslims? Already the High Court has granted 5% reservation for the Muslims for education. Why are you not giving them? You don't want the Muslims to develop in this country. Now, things have changed. You are in power. And suddenly, we realize that in the last two years, none of their leaders is ready to even speak about Muslim reservation. So when you are in the opposition, you are crying for the Muslims. When you have all the power in your hand and you can take a decision in just one day, you keep mum. So we waited for two years that tomorrow they may act, tomorrow they may take some decisions. And after two years, when we realize that no, they are taking this community for granted, we told them, come on, let's come on the street and show them the power, show them the strength. Let's see what the reaction would be now. Your rally is also being opposed. Hurdles are being created. Obviously, see, basically, we are going to Mumbai to ask some very difficult uh, questions to the government in power, for which they don't have any answer. So, obviously, what they are doing is they are putting pressure on the police, they are creating obstacles, they don't want us to come to uh, Mumbai because they know. Once we come there, then we are going to ask them questions, simple questions, for which they, they are not having any answers. So, which is why they are trying to put pressure on the police and trying to make sure that we don't enter Pune. But see, since morning, we have started from Aurangabad and there are so many of our vehicles that have been blocked on different roads in Maharashtra. Like the entire stretch of uh, uh, Nasik Mumbai Highway, uh, our vehicles have been stopped there. They are not being allowed to move ahead. So my question is, are laws different in this country? If Imtiaz Jalil is taking the expressway, then he can go. If somebody is coming from Nasik Highway, then the cop in the Nasik uh, de police department will say, no, I will not allow you. What the hell is this going on? If, if there are rules, the rules has to be for everyone, including Imtiaz Jalil. Are you confident that after your public rally in Mumbai, things will change and whatever you are demanding, that will be fulfilled, may it be work for land or the Muslim reservation? I don't know. I don't know, honestly. But uh, what I can do is, I can, I can register a strong protest, I can raise my voice, I can, I can come on the streets and express my anger. This is what I can do. The decision lies with the government. So it needs to be seen whether the government takes this seriously or tomorrow they want more people to come on the streets, then we are also ready for that. Tomorrow if they say no, it will not go so much from the people, it will not be done in it. So tell us about our In a way, you are in a way showing your strength. You are uniting the Muslims together so that you can raise the voice. No, Muslims are already united under MIM. And which is why they are very worried. Ki they were thinking, Arre, this community, ye to hai. They, this is a, their property, hamari property. Hai. Ye property ke upar MIM ka sa khabza kar le raha hai. These people are already attached to us. I mean to say that Congress, NCP, claiming that they are secular parties, till date they were misusing. Muslims. For 70 years, Pankaj Bhai, they have just been treating this community as a rubber stamp. During the time of elections, they will come and they will, they will say, vote us, vote us, otherwise BJP will come into power. Vote us, otherwise Shiv Sena will come into power and then the Muslims will have very tough times. And this is exactly what they have been doing for the past 70 years. During this Corona time, when things are going wrong, Omicron indications are there, there are cases of Omicron positive, you are still adamant in carrying out this rally. No, no, why, why Omicron only for MIM or only for Muslims in Maharashtra? Huh? Shiv Sena can organize a massive morcha in Aurangabad without police permission. BJP can organize a massive protest uh, morcha in Nagpur without permission, that is okay. Mr. Sharad Pawar can hold his party's uh, Yuva Medava in Mahableshwar, that is okay. Mr. Ajit Pawar can hold public meetings. Uh, across Western Maharashtra, that is okay. But if Imtia Jalil is coming to Mumbai, they'll say, no, no, don't come. Omicron is there and it's there only for two days. They have issued a circular a notification which says that on 11th and 12th, we are not going to allow anyone to uh, hold any protest because of Omicron.
which means they already had a discussion with Omicron and Omicron said, oh, see, so many Muslims are coming, na? so I will be troubling them a lot. So don't allow any permission from 13 onwards, once they go back, give permission to anybody and anyone. So this was Imtiaz Jalil, MIM MP on Mumbai Pune Expressway, leading his rally towards Mumbai with Cameron Gopal Haran and Samir Sheikh Dish Pankaj Khelkar on Mumbai Pune Expressway for India Today.